So in the last video, we were successful in taking our code that we had from our CSS layout series and importing it into Visual Studio. So that was what we accomplished. In this video, we're going to start adding some of our very first ASP.NET web pages because basically we need to convert this now to an ASP.NET website. So we're going to add a master page and a content page, but I want to say right away, this is going to take several videos to explain this concept. It's not a complex concept once you understand it, but I remember when I was first trying to understand this and learn this, I wish I would have had these videos actually, because I probably would have figured it out a little quicker, but basically it takes some time. So we're going to be exploring these concepts over five to six videos. So I don't want you to feel that you have to understand everything right away. But once you understand it, you'll be like, oh, this, this really is pretty easy to understand. But like I said in the beginning, it's a little bit intimidating because we're going to be adding these ASP files and you're going to be like, what is all this? And how do all these parts work together? But it actually makes a lot of sense. Microsoft designed this very, very well. And like I said, I don't want you to feel in this video that you have to understand it all because we're just going to add a few files here and I'm going to talk about a few concepts here. And so I just want to sort of soak things in. That being said, like I said in the last video, we just have an index.html here, but we eventually want this file to be .aspx because after all, this is going to be an ASP.NET website. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually create a new folder. So we'll right click on website and we'll add a folder. And this, and we're just going to call this archive. And what I like to do with this is sort of keep backups of our critical files. Actually, I didn't want to open that. So what we're going to do is copy and paste the index.html into here, as well as the CSS file. And like I said, this is just to keep backups in case we need to retrieve old code. And we can just minimize this. And if you take a look out at our folder, you'll see that a new folder was created since we did that in Visual Studio and we've got backups of our files. So we don't even need to come to our folder. Visual Studio does it automatically for us. Pretty nice. Now the first thing we're going to do is add our master page. And so we go to add. We're going to hit add new item. We're going to go down to where we find master page, wherever that is. And it's right here. We're just going to use the default name, which is masterpage.master. Keep this place code in separate file. We'll talk about that. That's basically for the C-sharp code, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Right now, we don't need to worry about that. So just hit Add. And now you can see we've got our master page. And like I said, you're going to be very confused and go, what is all of this? We will talk about all of this in the next several videos. So now we've got our master page. And now we need to add the default.aspx page. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go to add, add new item. We're going to hit web form. Now you'll see down here it automatically creates this default.aspx. That's what we want. Now this is the critical thing here. We want to select master page. Hit that. You're going to hit add. And now we're going to select the master page that we just created. And like I said, don't worry, this will all start coming together. It's very confusing in the beginning, but I will explain everything as I always like to do. So we're gonna hit okay. And now we've got our default.aspx page and our master page.master. And that's all we're really gonna do in this video. But I do wanna explain a few things just so we can start talking about some of these concepts. Now the master page you'll notice has all of the HTML. You'll notice that the default page just has some of these ASP.content tags. That's because this is the content page and the master page is actually contains all the HTML. Now the default.aspx page, this is where this gets confusing, but just understand this for now. This will eventually be our front end page. This is actually the page that gets loaded. Now you might be going, what, what is that? What are you talking about? This has all the HTML. Well, the default.aspx page pulls in the master. The master is just a template. It's not the actual page that gets loaded. And I'll show you why. If we flip back to the default.aspx, you'll see right at the top of the page, this master page file parameter. And it has a path to our master file, our master page.master. By the way, this squiggly little, this squiggly line here, that just means root. So what that means is that this is just in the root. The, all of these files are in the root. And another point I'd like to make is that when you go upload all of these files to a web server, this is exactly the layout you'll have. You'll have your entire folder structures as well as all of these pages in the root, if that's where you choose to put them. So again, the default.aspx is the page that actually gets loaded. So eventually when we fire up our website in a few videos, you're going to see default.aspx. 
And what happens is, like I said, it's actually pulling its HTML source from our master page template. So what we're going to do in the next video actually is take all the code out of this index.html and put it into our master page. That's one thing we're going to do in the next video. But for right now, I just wanted to point out that the default.aspx is the page that gets loaded, and he's pulling it from his template, which is right here. And so that's how that works. Now, the default.aspx is the first content page. And again, we're going to talk a lot more about these tags. But for now, just know that you can. this is an actual HTML tag, and this identifies it as content. This is the first content page that gets loaded. Now, let's go take a look at the website that we have currently. Everything in this panel now will be our content page. These areas, our navigation bar, our header and our sidebar are going to be static. So these are actually part of the master page template. And what's nice about this, and I'll talk about this in later videos, I, I hope I'm not saying that too much, but we don't have to actually change this code. This won't be dynamic, it's static. That's why all of this code in the next video will be placed in our master page. It's our main template. The content pages will all be in here. So when we drill down into here, all the information for this series that we're doing on Rome will be contained within this content panel. Now eventually this will say default.aspx. And so this code that we did for this little panel will actually be placed within our content tags right here because that's the first content page that gets loaded. Now when we drill down to that content panel, we're actually going to load another content page. It'll probably be called Rome.aspx or something different and we'll put all the code within our content because this is our entire content page. Now our master page will contain all of those other areas. So we'll have the header, we'll have the nav, and we'll have the sidebar. Those will actually contain all of the code for our static sections because we don't want these areas to change. It's everything in this content panel that will change. Now, if you think about this for a second, what really happens here is the master page and everything in our content page get merged. They come together to form the overall page that our user sees. So it's really two pages that end up as one. Our master page that again has all of our static areas that we don't want to change and our content page which has all the content that is dynamic. So this section right here, all three of these sections get merged as part of the master file along with our content. They get merged to form the final page and we know that through this right here. Here's our master page that gets loaded. It's, so when our default.aspx gets loaded, it pulls it from this master page.master. And then any content that we have in here that's been identified as content in our main content panel gets merged into that as well. So that's what we're actually going to do in the next video. We're going to take our index here and actually split it apart. We're going to put those three static sections in here and then our content that we want in here. As I said in the next video, we're going to get rid of our index.html and we're going to pull the HTML out of here and put it into our master page.master as well as some content that we want initially loaded. And of course, what do we want initially loaded? All the mini content panels we want loaded first and actually later on we'll put another one here. These will be all the mini content panels that we want to drill down into. So this is a good start. Just soak it in. Like I said, it'll all start to come together. Oh, by the way, when you go to save the project, you might get prompted to save this .sln file. Just hit yes to this and we can just save this in our website folder that we're working on. Uh, you don't need to really worry about this for now. Just hit save. And that is that. Okay, so again, I will see you guys in the next video.